everybody, it's Mike AK, That Reseller Guy. It's Monday morning, we have an action-packed video for you today, I got a lot of topics I gotta cover, so let's get going. All right, first off, let's cover the fact that it's time for another giveaway. It's, we're getting towards the end of the year, so I'm gonna have some good prizes uh, available for you today. The contest is the How Much Did Mike Spend at Goodwill last month. It's my monthly contest. I think we've been doing it just about every month this year. A lot of you have gotten really close on guesses. I've given away some really cool prizes. And uh, yeah, we need to do that again. Now, because I'm giving away some better prizes here this month, I'm gonna put a couple little things we gotta hit, a couple little benchmarks we gotta hit on this video. First up, we need 40 thumbs up. So everybody just hit your thumbs up right now whether you're gonna guess or not. That's gonna help me out. We usually don't get to 40, so that's kind of why I'm picking a number that I want you to kind of, you know, we'll help this video out a little bit. Next, we need to get at least, and this is just a minimum, 100 views on this video. It's not a crazy amount. Most of my videos get to 100 or more, but we have to get to 100. So if you're looking at this video, you haven't seen it get 100, tell one of your friends, watch this video, send them a link, help me out, help yourself out. I'm trying to give you guys some free stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all we're gonna do for the things you gotta hit. 100 views and 40 thumbs up. Only 40% of the people need to hit the thumbs up button. And here's uh, here's all my Goodwill receipts right here. I'll show you. It's not as many as usual. That'll give you a little bit of a hint. I've got the total right here. I can see it, you can't. So put your guesses in. Last month, I think our guesser was only a couple dollars off. So. Uh, even if you won last month, the month before, you're still eligible. You can uh, you can enter. You could win five months in a row if you get good at this. I'm not going to show you what the prizes prizes are until the end of this video. I'll show you what your choices are. I always like to give a few options. And some of them, the stack's getting bigger each month as you don't pick that one. I think it's because I've been putting in some good stuff. So uh, you got a few things that are all right here. You can't see them. They're just off camera. So uh Orders now, I did sell quite a few items this weekend. Another 26 items it looks like. Not as many as last weekend, the dollar amount's not quite as big. It was kind of a weird sales weekend. Friday, huge day, huge day on Friday. I'm like, all right, this is gonna be a fantastic weekend. We're only a couple weeks away from Christmas. Saturday and Sunday, thumbs down. I, I did still sell some items, but probably barely a hundred and maybe $50 each Saturday and Sunday. So not quite as good as I was looking for. Total sales of about $900 for the weekend. So it was still a good, solid sales weekend. But again, most of that was on Friday. A couple, couple higher dollar items, lots of sports cards. So uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to do a live video pulling. Well, we're going to walk through. We're going to get the items off the shelf. Some of it's in the garage. Some of it's up here in the closets. And a lot of it's in that box right there. I'm not going to show, show you pull out each individual card, but I'll flip through the cards kind of quickly because there's probably of the 26 items, uh, I don't know, 15 to 18 of them are just single cards. So we'll go through that kind of quickly. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip you around. We're going to go pull some orders. We're going to have to go out that door for some of them. I got to get that box. We're going to get some of them in here. Uh, again, there's 26 items. You're not going to have to see me pull 26 different items, but we will go out into the garage and get a few of those. So yeah, let's let's go do that. All right, so it's a little dark in here at the moment. We got to go through here, go through this door out into the garage. And then the first thing I always have to do, look how dark it is if you don't turn on some lights in this garage. Yeah, oh, there goes the light. We got to open this though, because it's still dark over here. Few different items that we got to get. I know where a couple are. First off, let me back up a little bit. So right now you see a lot of stuff on the floor. It looks actually kind of cluttered, but really this is uh, pretty clean right now. I, ha I did have pretty much most of this. I could barely get through here for a little while. Once I get rid of that stack of helmets, uh, definitely will make it a little bit easier to get through here. A lot of this stuff uh, I'm waiting to send to the local auction. Like all these cards are all waiting to go to the local auction as well as some of this other stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's get back here. Look for a couple things. First off, I can see the first one here. I got these Iowa Hawkeye license plate frames. There's actually two of them here. Bought these for, I think, $4 and change at a Goodwill. And the pair of them sold for $29.99 free shipping. It is going to have to go priority mail, but I can get these into a padded flat rate and ship them out for about 9 bucks. And then we also sold a license plate, and I believe it is Mercury. I hope that's right pull that out here another mercury this is actually i think the one that i used in my stock image you see it's there's not a hole in that wrap it's just kind of stuck to the plate on the bottom but uh sold another one of these license plates i believe it was 15.99 plus shipping and then we also got to get to this frisbee golf i got a few things in the way here i gotta always gotta move stuff out of the way 
I've had this for a while and I'm happy to get rid of it. Didn't sell for nearly as much as I thought it would. Ooh, this is heavy. At least the stuff on top of it was heavy. So we got Frisbee Golf by Whammo. Uh, I thought this was gonna sell for a little bit more. Sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. It is a fairly heavy box, but it's new and sealed. And uh, yeah, 20 bucks on that one. So there's three of our items. These are gonna be pretty easy to ship. Let's go back inside. All right, let's flip around. We need a couple items in here. Everybody say hi to Speedy. Speedy, do you wanna say hi? No, all right, let's go up in here. Couple things up on the top. We have a football mini helmet right next to Goofy here. See if I can reach this. We got Florida State Seminoles. And the problem with this is it had one little paint chip on it right there. I believe this sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And then we also got to go right here. Got to get these hockey pucks out of the way and get this box here. This is actually just an empty sports card box from Topps. It's hard to see Topps Transcendent Collection. Super expensive sports cards come in this fancy acrylic box. And just for this box, I got $17.99 plus shipping. All right, add it to the stack over here. Let's find out what's next. Okay, one of the items actually I already pulled back here. We got these soccer shots card packs hiding behind these sacks of cards. Uh, had a ton of these, you can see. These two boxes down there are all full of these packs. So I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these packs available. Putting them together, I think there's 32 packs and I ran it on sale. So they got it for like $14 and change plus shipping. So I'll get those shipped out. Next, we have a baseball. So we're going to turn around and these footballs are always in the way. I don't have a great spot to put these footballs and I'm hoping the ball I need. Yes, it's right here on top. I bought a ton of collector model baseballs last week. This one is an Arizona Diamondbacks opening day 1998 baseball. I think this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Spin around, put that down, and we got to go back out to the garage. Head back over here. We'll go to the shelves here. And right here on top of Lightning McQueen, we have a bike seat. This turned out to be a pretty good bike seat. Have you ever seen this style where you have like the notch in the middle? Uh, I call it a comfort model. You don't have extra friction in those areas when you're cycling. This is made by Specialized and it's body geometry, avatar, like 145 or something like that. Pretty good seat, sold for, it was either 40 or $50. This was a really good sale. Picked it up at a Goodwill for, I think it was like 549. All right, so I'll add it to my little pile of goodies right here right there and uh let's get the next item all right two more to the garage speedy should we go in the garage let's go back over here we're gonna go to my little toy box this is filled with all kinds of different toys and stuff in here i just kind of shove them in this tote let me find it right it's this one here this is voltron but you can see his legs are loose broken off and uh this isn't actually a pretty nice toy if this were in good shape this would bring some good money it's a heavier die cast toy it's like a lion force assembler they look like lions on the feet uh, what did this sell for? I think it sold for 30 bucks, even though it was broken. Am I right? It'll be in the pop-up right here. So I think I got $30 for that one. Then we got to go over here, pass some cards, helmets in the way. We got to get down to that tote. I was wrong. We got to get into this tote. That's where I keep my shoes. Yeah, nice pile there. They used to be in a tote, but I needed it. We need this ASU jacket. I got to reach it. Oh, yeah. It's hard to reach when I got all these football helmets in the way. This is a brand new with tags ASU uh, Coliseum brand uh, we'll say jacket it's kind of like a sweatshirt material I actually got this for free sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping all right let's get these inside add them to the crazy pile here and let me see if there's any more all right we're gonna turn around I got a couple more things I think they're all in here yep first one is right here we have this calculator with the actual original power cord this is an HP and it is an HP 45 calculator. These can bring some really good money. Found this at a Goodwill for $7. And I didn't, I did test it at the store. It had the power cord, so I tested it, it turned on. You'll see in the pop-up here, it did have a problem with it where like one of the pixels or one of the, you know, whatever you call them on these, not pixels, but color lines. Like if you look at the number two, which is in the pop-up I have here, you can see that like the lower left side light does not light up on any of them. So it did have a problem, but just listed that in my description and it's still sold for like $45 plus shipping. So if you see these HP 45s, even, even with some problems, you can get 45 for a 45. Add that to the pile. We're going to spin around and I need some of these magazines right here. These are my dungeon crawl classics. 
You saw me buy these at a local store for a dollar a piece. Fantastic sales have been going on these. I sold a lot of four of them. So I need 76, 77, 78, wherever those ones are, right here, 76. Big brain on the front of that one. 77, something, 78 with that guy and them. And number 79, Frozen in Time. A lot of four of these sold for $26.99. I gave them 10% off. Did have it at 30 bucks, so I paid a dollar a piece, got $26.99 plus shipping. All right, so that's everything that uh, is non-sports card related. So that's all gonna be pretty nice and easy to ship. We're gonna spin around, Speedy's still in here. This is my box that has all of the cards uh, that I have listed on eBay. So let me pull this over here and put it on the desk and we'll get going. You can see I got quite a bit. So we got all the card lots here. I got a set that I'm building. And then this is all the single cards that are listed. No particular order, but I kind of know. I have them separated by basketball, football, and baseball. So it's pretty easy. I don't need to use a numbering system or anything like that. I can find them pretty quickly. I did sell a couple card lots or card sets. So one of them is right here. This is Topps Prime 9 insert sets. Got a bunch of legends in there. You'll see them in the pop-up. I think it sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Really cool looking cards, just not worth a whole lot. And then I also sold some Pirates trading card game. If you've been watching, you see, see me sell a couple different lots like this, but this was the better ships, I guess. There's eight ships in here. And uh, I got to scroll up just a touch on my screen. Sold for $29.99. So yeah, you got the flying fish. Looks like that's, is that the French flag right there? Although it shows an American flag there. And some more on the back, but you got them all bundled in here. Yeah, 30 bucks, uh, really great buy. I think I spent $4 on all the different pirates cards. So really great sale. I did sell a graded card. Actually, let's pull that one next. Let me spin around. Woo, all right. And it is in this box. So these are all SGC cards. This is where I keep all my Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And these are all sports cards. And let's see, where are they at? I think I got them by year in here. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Steph Curry rookie card. Shows him when he played at Davidson. This is from Prestige 2009-2010. And actually this card I got at the local box lot auction. They had a bunch of sports cards one day. It's one of my better finds. Uh, there's a video for it on YouTube. I did a video just on the cards I got from here. And this is his rookie, graded 9.5. I did have a 10, and uh, that one already sold. But this is the 9.5 from Davidson, and this one for 225 bucks. I paid $30 for the grading, the card I have very little into. So really great flip on this one here. I love selling graded cards. SGC cards have been doing really well for me. A lot of people think SGC doesn't sell, but they do. So yeah, 225 bucks. And that's actually going global shipping program. So I'll ship it to Kentucky and they will ship it overseas for me. So we'll pull a few of these in just to show you that it doesn't take me too long without having numbering system. If you watch Lonnie over at Shed Phillips, he has cards and he has them numbered or alphabetized or uh, a, a through Z numbering. I don't need that. I know where my cards are somewhere in here. Look, look at this first one that quick. Devonte Freeman numbered out of 75. This is a real cool rookie card with the two different patches there. It looks like part of his last name numbered out of what is it? 75. Yeah. This one sold for eight ninety nine. Pretty cheap card. Devonte Freeman. I don't even know if he's still in the league anymore. Someone let me know. But uh, $8.99 plus shipping, it's a really thick card. So I'm going to ship that one out in a bubble mailer. Sold a lot of basketball. And the majority of these cards I've been selling are basketball. So all the new stuff is right here at the front. Because I always just leave it at the front when I list it. Because uh, they're probably going to sell relatively quickly. And then some of them kind of trickle back here. So somewhere in here are these inserts. So uh, it's hard to do one-handed go through the cards. Otherwise, I just got to go like this, like this, and just get... Oh, I know this one sold. <laughs> Let's look at this one because uh, this not wasn't the one I was going to pull, but since it's right there and I know that it sold, this is Steven Adams. Honestly, guys, I have no idea who Steven Adams is. I don't keep up with basketball other than he plays with New Orleans, which is where Zion Williamson plays. That's the only player that I know that's on New Orleans. Not a rookie card, but this is the white mosaic something. It's got this pattern to it, but look at this card. Look, number 25 out of 25 on the back, and these white versions do really good. I didn't really know where to price it because there weren't any exact comps out there. I threw it out there for 80 bucks and it sold within a day. So really great sale on a card of a guy that I don't really know who he is, but got $79.99 plus shipping. Even though it's a regular thickness card because it is over $20, I will ship it out in a bubble mailer. 
but let's kind of keep flipping through. Maybe I sold some more of these right here at the front. I just listed a bunch of these like mosaic cards. Oh, I know I did sell one of these, but these are really cool looking. These ones are center stage, but the one I sold was Swagger. I think I flipped past it. Swagger. Was it Damian Lillard? Is that who I sold? It is. It's Swagger. Damian Lillard. This one is not serial numbered, but I think these were pretty hard pulls out of the pack. So this one went for $14.99 plus shipping. I will send it out eBay standard envelope since it's under 20 bucks. Let's look at the next couple cards. We sold these. These are from Panini Illusions, Shining Star, Steph Curry. These are an acetate card, so you can see through them a little bit. This one sold for, uh, I can't see the total. One person bought both of them, $13.48. Uh, so, so we got Steph Curry, and then we got Kevin Durant, Clear Shots. Then I had one person just buy another one of these Clear Shots. I think these were $5 and uh, like about 10 bucks. So. Uh, really good sale there. We got five, five, and ten, so almost twenty dollars just in those three. All right, we'll keep scrolling. I know I got all my prism cards here, and I got these separated by different colors here. Let me see if I can find this without too much trouble. Where are you at? I know you're back here. Right there, Jalen Smith rookie card, but this is his Panini Prism Silver Prism rookie card. The Silver Prisms are some of the more desirable ones. Uh, got $7.99 plus shipping. I think I had it for $9.99 and sent a, a discount offer out. So someone got 20% off on that one. Next, we got Jason Tatum of the Celtics. Serial number card numbered out of 349. Sometimes it's hard to see that, especially when you got the glare from up above. This is a press proof from Donruss. Not too expensive, $5.99 plus shipping. So it's going out eBay standard envelope. Next sale, I had one person buy two of the same guy. Let me see if I can pronounce his name. Shy Gilgius Alexander. How close was I? Airtime, let me know. Did I, did I get his name right? So this is the Court Kings red version and it is serial numbered on the back out of 149. And then we got the optic red not, oh, it is serial numbered, yeah, out of 99. So two different cards here. He bought them both, paid $9.99 for this one and $4.99 for this one. So because he bought two cards, I will go ahead and ship them out in a bubble mailer. Even though I only charged him a dollar for each card, I'll eat the extra $1.50 in fees for that one. So we got $15 for those two, like that. One card left, it looks like, and I think it's all the way in the back because I put all the Star Wars ones back. There. See, look at that. I didn't need to number them. This is Star Wars Chrome. I sold one of these last week. Uh, this one here looks like it's a Imperial Cruiser, I believe is what those ships are called. And it says Admiral Radis defeats the Star Destroyers. And this is an orange refractor numbered out of 25, 9 to 25 from the Star Wars product. And let me see, did I give a discount? Nope. Full price on this one, $9.99 plus shipping. So it's going out in eBay standard envelope. So I charge a dollar shipping. It cost me 53 cents. Yeah, I make a touch on uh, the, the shipping, but not too much. And the last thing, we sold one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. It's only one Ninja Turtle sale this weekend, $17.99 plus shipping. I use a five by three by two box for these. It works out perfectly. Weighs eight ounces, so I can ship it out at a good price. Those boxes, I think I do have a link down below for those. I, I need to order some more of those. I think I'm down to my last bundle. All right, let's flip you around and uh, talk about some more stuff. All right, let's get into a few more things here towards the end of this video. I know it's probably getting fairly long at this point. Uh, again, I say that every time. It's, no, usually I say it's, usually I say it's going to be a short video and turn it to be a long video. I think today's going to be a longer video. Hope you all stay in for, for all of it because we got more information coming here. Uh, next up, I'm going to do some mystery boxes. I haven't done that in a while. I did it like last year, maybe earlier this year. It's excess inventory I have that's going to take me forever to get to, and maybe I can pass along some deals to you, and you can make some money on it. So first up, we're going to insert a picture here. Boop. I bought a ton of autographed baseballs at a local sports auction. It's going to take me forever to get to these. Uh, some of them, I don't know who they are. Some of them are labeled. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out some mystery boxes. It's going to have as many balls as I can fit into a flat rate A box, which is usually I can get a dozen in there. If you, could, if you put them in there just right, you can get a dozen baseballs in there. They do cost about 10 to $12 a ship, depending on where you are. So what I'm going to put is I'm going to put those boxes out there for 20 bucks each. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot after fees. I'm probably getting $5 for each of these boxes. But I want to clear out some of these baseballs. Maybe it'll be fun for you to go through. Don't buy more than one. Let some other people get them. Maybe in a week, there's still a few more. I think I'm going to put out two boxes. I'm just going to do two boxes this week. If they sell pretty quickly, I'll do a couple more next week. And then I'm also going to do one of sports jerseys. I've had a lot of jerseys sitting around. I just haven't got to listing. 
and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do two packs of those. Each one will have five jerseys in it and we'll do $25 for each of those. So you'll be paying $5 each per jersey. Again, after the fees and my costs, I'm probably actually losing money on these. But again, I wanna pass along some deals, move some inventory, get it out of here and get a, get a few bucks back anyway. Uh, so those will be in my store. Uh, let's check tomorrow morning. I'll try to get those done at the end of the day because I got to get all this shipping done first. I will re actually I will post those available. I will set them as a to be released at a future time. You know, you can go in there and set the date on them. I will release those at eight o'clock Arizona time tomorrow. So just figure out wherever you are, figure out what time it is in Arizona and they will pop on there. So don't buy more than one. Let everybody kind of get one if they want one. I think they went over pretty good. I If some of you bought those in the past, put it down in the comments as well. Did, did you buy those? I know I did a jersey one, a baseball one, just some random mystery boxes. Those were kind of fun, and I know some of you got some good deals. So uh, look out for those tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Arizona time. Now, prizes. Yeah, what am I going to give away for the prizes this month for the How Much Did Mike Spend at Goodwill last month? That's a long title. I need a better better name for this con contest. It's uh, too wordy. All right, first up, just out of the gate, one thing that I do every time, Star Wars card pack. So I had been doing two packs. I think I had upped it to three packs, and now I'm upping it to four packs of Star Wars cards. So you get uh, Star Wars Galaxy, and then two of these different ones with Ray on the front. So four packs of Star Wars card. If you're the winner, that's one of your choices. Next up, what am I gonna show you next? A Starbucks gift card. I think this is a $10 gift card. I had a few of them sitting around. So I'm pretty sure this is a $10 Starbucks gift card if you're into coffee and all that. Two different toy cho choices. First up, I have this Lego Creator set. Uh, it is a three-in-one. You can do a helicopter, a plane, and a boat. It is a little bit smushy on the back, so that's why I can't list it on Amazon as new. So we'll do that as a toy option. Second toy option, this little Zoomer unicorn, a little interactive talking toy. It's pretty cute, so if you got a kid that would like that. The third, this was what was taken last time. I had another one last time. I believe it was a Zelda case. We got an Animal Crossing case for the Switch. It is a pre-owned one. It's not brand new, doesn't have the tags. But if you have a kid that's an Animal Crossing or you want to sell these, I think new, they're like 20 bucks. Used, they probably go for 10 or so. So whoever wins the contest gets, a, gets one of those. They get to pick which one they want. So you got to put your choices, your choices, your guess down below, how much did I spend at Goodwill last month? Whoever's the closest, whether you go over, under, it doesn't matter. Whoever's just closest to that number, they're going to win one of those items. I'll give you this whole week. I'll probably announce the winner on Monday. So you have a full week to get in there. And again, this video has to get 100 views. That's not hard. 100 views on this one and 40, four, zero thumbs up. So even if you don't want to play in the contest, give the video a thumbs up. Let everybody else participate as well. So... Uh, all right, that's it. I'm tired. My voice is going. I got to get orders done and I'm thirsty. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you have a great day. Uh, do I need to say anybody else, say anything else? No. Thumbs up and subscribe and comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.